we're all going to Olive Atelier. That went on the other. I tried to make one of these one time. It did not turn off as well. I've decided that I just am getting one of everything. Like, is this like a joke? Whoa! This is actually antique. It's an antique Elmwood stool that. Hello guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to LA. Kinsley, what? what? Why are you so excited? What's happening? I'm super excited because we are going, you guys, me and my friend Katrina, we're all going to Olive Atelier. The most talked about home decor store place drop of home decor in LA. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see all of their goodies and see, you know, what we can find. Vases, all of it. I, we're gonna get to know like what, where the product comes from. I know a little bit, but I want them to tell us too. Um, so, Kinsley, you're gonna be a good girl today. Look at her. You're gonna be a good girl. I need my purse. I was wearing a neutral kind of outfit today. Neutral, but yellow, you know, make it yellow. I'm not too far from Olive Atelier. It's like in the Culver City area. I'm under the impression that all of this stuff is salvaged from another country. I think Turkey, if I'm not mistaken. I'm super excited to see what they have. Today's just gonna be a fun day. Tomorrow's the rehearsal dinner. Tomorrow, all the wedding things start. So today is a big day of just like, I need to get my nails done. I also broke my nail right here. So I gotta figure that out. I got a backup dress which now became my permanent dress yesterday because it's so beautiful. I don't know if the other dress is gonna make it in time anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'll just return it. Um, so, and it was cheaper. <laughs> it's like a win-win all the way around. Romeo got everything but his like dress socks yesterday, so that's good. And it's just been fun to get ready for like a, a an event, like a, a grand event, like a wedding, you know, like that's like so much fun. We need to go and drop Kinsley off tomorrow morning uh, with Romeo's mom. She's gonna um, puppy sit for us. So you guys are actually gonna see a vlog this Sunday. I didn't have time to film two renovation videos before I left. Uh, so that's okay. That's okay, right guys? <laughs> like running around like crazy. I'm just so happy. You guys can see it. Like I, I can't stop smiling. Anyways, we're gonna have a fun day. Today, Olive Atelier, lunch with Katrina and her precious baby boy, Miles. Nails. Romeo's gonna get his hair cut. Uh, we have to do some hemming tonight. I know that Romeo's suit for the wedding needs to be tailored. Of course, I went to fashion school. If I had to go get things tailored myself, that would be a complete waste of my degree. Um, so I can do it. I just need him to try it on and, and assess what needs to be done. I'll see you guys when we get to Olive Atelier. <laughs> we have arrived. Katrina's here. Hi. Hi. Oh my gosh, she looks beautiful. Hi. Hi. Do I get to be your videographer you today? Yeah! We have made it to Olive Atelier. So we oh. import from all over the globe, Turkey, Morocco, India, Asia, Indonesia, all these beautiful limestone oh. from Indonesia. Um, they're used so as planters, pretty. sinks, troughs, um, lots of beautiful rustic decor. A lot of it comes from India, um, most of it's vintage. And then um, the olive pots that I see all over. They... Yeah, the Turkish pot, they're traditionally used to store olives and olive oil. Oh, Sometimes, you know, wheat and other grains in the off season, but they all come from Turkey. They're all vintage. Um, every now and again, we get some antiques as well. We do our best to make sure that it's really fairly priced. You know, it's never going to be cheap, but I right. think that you know, making it uh, fair and accessible to folks is really important to us. Um, so pretty. I mean, it's yeah. just like a treasure trove. You it can just is, like right? walk around forever, yeah. I think that was the other thing that we really focused on. Right. We wanted it to feel a little bit more like you were discovering and, you know, finding things um, on your own. And there's that discovery it, element, you know? Exactly. So. Oh, these are so pretty. Like, I love the color, like the deep, rich color. That's so This is so pretty. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I need this. This is gorgeous. It's so cute. I don't care. It's like marble. Oh, I was gonna say. And that one goes so pretty in your in your house. Kitchen. It's, yeah. I already found something I want. I'm <laughs> like, I need this for my kitchen. Love this one. This one with the 
it's teak. These are teak, so these work really well outside too. Oh, teak is like a great, the okay. best wood for outside. Like you want your like gate outside to be made of teak. Oh, okay, yeah. that's good to know. They're gorgeous. This is beautiful too. That's beautiful. You need that. You need that. Look oh how pretty like that came out. That's gorgeous. That's it's so literally beautiful. gorgeous. So like you almost need to just pick the 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 veining that you like the most because they're all pretty, but that's pretty. Look at these bolts. Oh my god. Is this like a joke? Whoa. Yeah. 120. That, that's what they say. They really try and price these. That's like, like reasonable. Gorgeous. This is beautiful. It almost looks like paper mache. Really? Yeah. Look. It is paper mache. You're such an expert. Oh my gosh. I tried to make one of these one time. It did not turn off this well. <gasps> it did not. <laughs> The vases. I need like a collection of teak. I love these. I've decided that I just am getting one of everything like a breadboard, a vase, a stool, just because, you know? And I'm also doing a makeover coming up, so I want to find like some really cute vases for that it's a bedroom you guys will see that very soon but the style of it is like more modern but i want to bring some organic touches to it and like some warmth um so it's going to feel um, more lived in and more raw i feel like that's going to be like amazing you cannot go wrong here like look at these pots so pretty turkish jar and she is right, they are priced very reasonably. Like I've seen these things at other stores and boutiques online and it's definitely at least 30% higher in price online or other places than here. They, they definitely try and price fair, which is, which is great because it is vintage, you know, or vintage materials that have made these things. So it's really cool. The solid marble sink is just everything. It's just, it's, it's gorgeous. Everything is just dreamy. Oh, big fork. Antique pedal fork. That is so cool. It's gorgeous. Also, where did they, do they make this? Or did they just find this? I think they take, I think they find it and then they, it's been salvaged from a, a building of some kind. That is crazy. Yeah. That's she said everything has a story. They probably know what it is. If you pick it, they'll know where it came from. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. These ladders, rustic wood ladder. I don't think I can get out of here without bringing my mom something. Look at this French flower vase. It's so pretty. She's gonna love that. And I can put it in my carry on. So this is actually um, on everything. carved new out of old wood. So this is oh. um, reclaimed essentially. This though is vintage. It's from Turkey. They used to be used to store oh. olive oil and, and olives. Oh, cool. So there's smaller versions and then there's larger versions. Yeah. Um, they're technically called an Odemus pot there uh -huh. with like the ribbing Dennis. around it, but they're also called olive jars because they're traditionally used for oh, cool. that. So what about my pieces? Okay. This is, uh, this is actually antique. It's an antique elm wood stool. They're from China. These are really hard to source now with the round top. The little yeah. ones I know were used as milking stools. So the right. tiny ones, they right. would kneel on them and milk. I don't know what they would use these for the taller specifically. Ones. But the, a lot of the elm wood furniture actually comes from like classrooms. See like the benches? Yes. And like even the elm wood consoles. 100%. It's interesting. These classrooms just have like all of these benches and stools left that are no longer being used. That's so cool. They get collected. Turkey. This is like hers, yeah, right? Turkey, Turkey. Um, vintage marble chapati from India. So chapati bread. And here they would use them to like roll out and like let the, the, the bread rise on them. So I don't actually know what these were used for, but this is um, vintage teak. Right. Pot essentially. Same with all these Same guys. I don't know. I mean, maybe they were used for, for carrying things. They would have had yeah. to have been. Um, and these are new. These are newly made, just made to look old. And they're yeah. just like little French vases. No, they're so cute. Yeah. Where was the tea from? Tea's India. 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 Yeah. Ah, you guys, I was so. 
it's just it is really really stunning in there there is some hype around this place that I told them that you have really taken the home decor world by storm with these drops and um, I've seen all of my friends and, and people go there like Drew went there and got this gorgeous sink and big huge pots and I wish that I could get some of those back to Texas obviously um, but that would be kind of like the vibe here for LA it's so measures up to the hype gosh it's gorgeous I got some really cute pieces so we are gonna do a haul later when we get home I got something special for my mom so if mom if you're watching this close your eyes when I do the haul so you're still surprised Katrina and Miles and myself are going to eat at this little cafe called Margo and we're gonna eat some lunch oh my gosh the cute puppies Culver City is such a cute little area too such a great day already i've had so much fun today you guys i had a great lunch did a little shopping went and looked at all the pumpkins at this little at the platform in culver city i usually always have a pumpkin patch um but they just had pumpkins around and witchy hats and spider it was decorated so cute so now i'm at the nail salon because i have got to do something about my nails specifically the one that i broke and then i just broke another one so I don't know what I'm gonna do. My best friend, the bride, specifically said uh, nude, just nude nails, and then we can kind of do whatever we wanted on our toes as long as it was just like um, subtle. Uh, so I think I'm gonna do like a burgundy on my knit toes and then the neutral on my nails. So. Nails are done very neutral very i went very like nudie pink color it was in um essie color but uh, she changed it last minute she was like i have a better one but i didn't ask her the name of it remember the the two that the one for sure that i had broken but this one was really short too she put gel x tips on them you see the the tip i've never done that before gel extensions i don't really experiment much with my nails i also never do my nails because i always ruin them working on on the house and renovations but i've never done that before but she was like i have something to fix that i'm like okay <laughs> thank goodness because it was like so short romeo met up with with me he got his hair cut we're just doing things today we are now at the promenade in santa monica for i don't know why he said follow me i said i want coffee he said follow me and now we're at the promenade i don't know if there's coffee here but that's what i want i think there's a coffee bean here but i want <laughs> Um, so I, I'm pretty sure he needs to run and get some dress socks, but why would we need to go here to get it? I don't know. I stopped into anthropology to see if they had like, I don't know, something, I want to bring her something small. I have like a anniversary journal. I'll show you when I get home. But we found a card that we can put their gift in. I wanted to bring her something like that the morning that we're going to get ready. Something nice. Look how cute these salt pepper shakers are. The little flowers. This collection's really cute. It's serious. What's this called? Uh, it's bag called. Toss. Pickle. Pickle. Oh, uh, it's bag something. Bag. Kind of far away, no? Yeah. That was I went my on the other. That way on the other side of the promenade. That was my warm up. We're supposed to be looking for uh, wedding stuff. What? We're supposed to be looking for wedding stuff. <laughs> All right, I give up. I give up. Ah, <laughs> uh, come on. I make this. I get ice cream. Ice cream. Oh! <laughs> okay, so how many years ago? 12 years? This 13 was, years uh, ago? 2011. Romeo and I just carved our names in a tree here in Santa Monica. Is oh, this, this is the nothing, tree? No, no, it's not. Where's the tree? I mean, it was huge. Did they replace the whole tree? That can't be the same tree. That is the same knot, huh? No. Oh, I'm so sad now. Okay, so there was a tree. We used to come to Santa Monica Promenade all the time when we were mall, younger. Uh, we were mall rats, yeah, when we were 
19. 2011, that was... 2011, we carved our initials in that tree, but it looks like they've replaced the tree. That's not the same knot, for sure. We saw it a couple years ago, yeah. But that's sad, it's not there anymore. So the guys that were sitting at the restaurant was like, come back at midnight and carve it again. Oh guys, it has been a very busy couple of days. I just realized, well, my best friends got married. We were in the wedding. I felt like it was the longest, shortest weekend ever. You know, we did so much. Romeo was best man, obviously. I was a bridesmaid and we were just pictures and so many things happening um, and coordinating to get them married. And it was absolutely beautiful. They were so happy. I'm so happy, we're so happy. Everybody's so happy, it was amazing. But I realized I was about to start the next vlog and I realized I didn't show you what I got. I didn't do a haul at all of Atelier. So I just brought them in. I got some really fun things actually. First off, this stool. I started shopping and there's just, you can't go wrong. So I felt like there were so many options. I would be, I would be in love with everything just to have something that was from there and salvaged and vintage or made from reclaimed materials. Uh, so it was kind of a mixture uh, of everything. I got this stool. I know in the video we said, like you guys heard in the video where she was saying like what each one was, um, but this is uh, made out of elm wood and it's a round stool. And I felt like this was just the perfect, I love stools. I love to put things like lamps on them, put them in little nooks or corners, especially in bathrooms. You know, they just look so good. So I got this, that's for me. Most is for me, but some are for, One's for my mom. One's for an upcoming makeover, which you guys will see. I got this set, which I thought was, these are teak. Now teak wood in general is great for the outdoors. So like I'm definitely considering making our gate. Uh, we have a temporary gate at the cottage right now, but I wanna make our gate out of teak because I really want it to be wooden or parts of it to be wood. But teak is a great wood to use outdoor because it weathers really well. And these are particularly what they hold, they hold water. You wouldn't normally put water in a wooden, anything wooden, um, but teak is a great wood for that. I'm gonna research it and put it on the screen why teak. I don't know why teak is great for that. So I got two teak vases. I got a large and a small. <gasps> Look at the colors in this one. I thought they were beautiful, kind of like nestled together. I obviously won't put water in them, but if I choose to put fresh flowers in them, I'm just gonna drop a skinny glass vase inside, you know, do it like that, so that there's not actually water in them, but oh, they're just so organic. This one was 95 and this one was 55. So I got this guy, a wooden scoop bowl. Kinsley likes this one apparently. This one was 55. I love the the darkness of it. It would be perfect on like the entryway table here or on a bookshelf. You know, having it like somewhere on a bookshelf would be really pretty. It'd actually be really pretty on the bookshelf. I could sell this there. Loved it. One, it's one that was organic. So I kind of went through the store and I was like, okay, let me get one of different items. So I got one stool, I got a set of vases, I got a bowl. You know, it was kind of like picking and choosing like that. I got this for the cottage. I'm gonna put this in my luggage, my carry-on and bring it back with me. It's a marble trivet of some kind, a marble slab. It's got a little bit of feet, it's got feet on it. I don't know how much this one was. It doesn't have a price on it, but it's so pretty. I thought this detail was so pretty on it. So it really did look like it belonged in the cottage. Um, I thought it would be really pretty on our soapstone because the contrast too. Also definitely needed a cutting board. <gasps> Love. This is a breadboard. Actually, this is a small version. These are vintage. They had them all hanging on the wall and stacked places. They were beautiful. Love it. It would be beautiful hanging on the wall too in a kitchen um, or stacked. I like to put them kind of like laying or standing upright in a kitchen on, on the countertop. Uh, so I think I'm gonna bring this one back with me to the cottage too. Mom, if you're watching this, close your eyes. I got two of these. I got one for me and one for my mom. This is a French flower vase. This is the medium size. And they have, you can tell that it's terracotta 
on the inside. It's made of terracotta because you can see where it's a little bit distressed. These are actually new, but they're made to look aged and worn and old. That's what she said. So it is definitely a pot that I can put a plant in because it had drain has drainage. So my mom and I will have the, the same one. This lovely girl is for an upcoming makeover, which you guys will see. Um, she was beautiful. I didn't see anything else like her. This is also teak. Um, she has these metal details here. She looks, she just looks like she's carved. This is made it in India. They're just so beautiful. Love this one. This one was 95, but she's pretty substantial. I can imagine like flowers in her that, you know, are kind of like shaped. Oh, I just, I needed her. She was going to be the perfect addition to what I'm working on. So get excited for a new makeover that isn't my style. It's a little bit different, but I'm still bringing a lot of warmth into it. It's a really fun project. So I'm really excited to do it. And last but not least, I had to have one of the olive jars. <laughs> She's pretty. So this is a Turkish drip vase. This is their medium size. It is absolutely stunning. It's got the green tinge too. Loved it. This one was 110. They bring such an organic, um, like a, an organic raw touch to a space. It's very contemporary right now to have very organic materials in your space. So no matter what your style, bringing in something organic uh, can really give it a very lived in and com comforting kind of feel. Um, so that's that's why I went a little crazy, but it was just such a great experience. So I'm so thankful that they invited me to come look around. Um, if you're ever in LA when they have a drop, definitely go check them out. Today, I'm actually starting a new vlog today. Now that I have well rested, rested yesterday after the wedding and then this morning i was like i'm not setting an alarm i'm not waking up and turning off all alarms i'm gonna wake up naturally um and then get going so i hope you guys enjoyed coming shopping with us huh well we're gonna do some fun stuff while we're here like the makeover we're going to disneyland we're going to flea markets all the fun things i will see you guys in a few days uh for another vlog bye guys Kinsley, do you like old mama's stuff? Do you like what I got? Yeah? Aw, oh, thank you. Do you like it? Which, do you want one? I'll give you one. You can have them all. You say hi to our friends.